and welcome along. Today we are taking a look at two fact sheets released for Farming Simulator 19. These are the first of many that Giants Software will be releasing over the next several weeks in the run-up to the release of Farming Simulator 19. And I plan to bring you a video like this for each set of facts for fact sheets as they are released. Uh, before we get into the first two though, I want to say a quick thank you to Giant Software for giving me access to these ahead of their official release uh, so that I could bring them to you in this video. Uh, I am very grateful to them for this and uh, and yeah, hopefully uh, we will be able to do this again uh, a lot more. So without further ado, let's take a look. First up, we have fact sheet 1A, uh, focusing on the Massey Ferguson Ideal Combine and its accompanying power flow header. We've known about this combine uh, in the game since the earliest promotional tip materials released. And in fact, I believe that this may have been the first piece of equipment uh, announced for the game. So uh, let's take a closer look. The Massey Ferguson Ideal is categorised as a combine harvester, obviously, uh, and its cost is a rather hefty 465,000 for its base configuration. It's available with a power range from 396 to 476 kilowatts or 538 to 647 horsepower and a fuel tank size of 1,000 litres. Its maximum speed is 40 kilometers per hour or 24 miles per hour and it has a grain tank capacity of 17,100 liters. Finally, the customization options for it are the engine setup and the brand uh, and presumably this means that it will also be available as a Fent as well as a Massey Ferguson. Now on to the Massey Ferguson Power Flow, uh, which is classed as a header with a price of 79,000. It has a width of 12 meters or 40 foot and a working speed of 10 kilometers per hour or 6 miles per hour. The crops it uh, can work are wheat, barley, oats, canola and soybeans. Its only configuration option is the brand. Uh, and I'm also presuming that like the ideal uh, this is available as a Fent as well as a Massey Ferguson. All in all, this is a very nice combine and a great addition to Farming Simulator. Due to its cost, I'm not sure it's a piece of machinery I will personally use that often, but I do look forward to trying it out at the very least. Uh, one thing I do really love about, uh, which you can see in the, in this screenshot, and in fact you can see in all of its numerous previous appearances as well, is the way the light plays off the various materials in its construction, uh, and I personally cannot wait to see that in game. I think that is going to look utterly spectacular. For part B of the first fact sheet, the focus is on the much more recently revealed Fent 1100 MT tractor and the Elmer's Hallmaster Auger Wagon. The Fent 1100 MT was revealed roughly a month ago, while the Elmer's Hallmaster was first glimpsed in a screenshot that accompanied the CGI trailer for Farming Simulator 19 that was revealed at E3, uh, although the brand wasn't confirmed until much later. Uh, you can see in the image that this particular uh, Elmer's Hallmaster is the Hallmaster 2000. The Fent 1100 MT is categorised as a tractor and costs a massive 428 thousand for the base configuration it has a power range of 362 to 475 kilowatts or 492 to 646 horsepower and a fuel tank capacity of 1000 liters its maximum speed is 40 kilometers per hour or 20 miles per hour and the customization options are the engine setup and the wheel setup which can be configured to either be standard or three meter tracks the Elmer's Hall Master is categorised as an auger wagon with a price of 93,000. It requires a power rating of 294 kilowatts or 400 horsepower to use and can have a capacity of between 46,000 and 70,000 litres. 
It accepts wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, solid fertilizer and seeds. And the main color and capacity are its configurable options. Again, at the higher end of the price and power range, these two are very nice pieces of equipment and nice additions to the game. I'm glad to see another brand of Org Wagon in the game, as it's always nice to have options. And the Fent is a nice tractor. Uh, I really quite like that. Uh, the only question I have is why uh, the 1100MT doesn't have brand as a configurable option, seeing as the Challenger version of it is available in the American market. And one of the base game maps is an American map. Uh, it does seem a little bit odd to me, uh, that. On to the second of the fact sheets released today. And the first to feature a previously unannounced brand. Part A of fact sheet 2 introduces us to Samson Agro. Uh, this is a Danish based manufacturer of organic fertilizer distribution solutions, uh, which includes slurry tanks, muck spreaders, drip hose booms and incorporators. And this part of the fact sheet focuses specifically on their PG225 slurry tank and SBH4 slash 36 drip hose boom. Categorized as a slurry tank, the PG-225 costs 87,000 and requires a power rating of 162 kilowatts or 220 horsepower. It has a capacity of 25,000 litres and a working speed of 17 kilometres per hour or 10 miles per hour. It accepts both slurry and digestate. Its wheel setup is the only configurable option. Uh, and this option is for either standard or narrow tyres. In order to spread the liquid fertiliser, uh, the PG-225 slurry tank uh, can connect up to our next item, which is the SBH4-36. Uh, this is categorised as a drip hose boom and costs 40000 it has a working width of 36 meters or 120 feet and its working speed is 17 kilometers per hour or 10 miles per hour. So there's our first new brand and new equipment revealed in the fact sheets and it's a really nice one. I've very much got into spreading liquid fertilizer in Farming Simulator 17 and it's great to see a new brand bringing a great new modular setup to do this in Farming Simulator 19. I can't wait to see what other equipment Samsung Agro might bring to the game as well. I think it's going to be, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be an interesting and useful brand uh, that has been added to the game in that one. Last but not least, the second part of Fact Sheet 2 focuses on probably the most covered piece of equipment so far revealed for Farming Simulator 19, along with a returning piece of equipment from a brand familiar to players of the game. I am, of course, talking about the John Deere 8R series tractor and the Garant Coat FRC field container. The John Deere 8R series is categorized as a tractor, unsurprisingly, and the base configuration has a price of 299,000. It has an available power range of 213 to 331 kilowatts or 290 to 450 horsepower. Its fuel tank has a capacity of 675 liters and its top speed is 50 kilometers per hour or 31 miles per hour. Uh, configuration options available are for the engine, the wheel brand and the wheels, the last of which can be configured to standard wide tires, twin wheels and rear twin wheels. Categorized as a field container, the Garant Coat FRC has a price of 25,000 for its base configuration. It has a power requirement of 37 kilowatts or 50 horsepower and a capacity of 55,000 liters of slurry or digestate. Its configuration options are for the main color and the wheel setup, uh, which has a choice between standard and wide tires. 
First up, I am very pleased to see the first set of fact sheets have included the John Deere 8R. We've known about its inclusion in the game ever since John Deere was announced as part of Farming Simulator 19 at E3. And it's great to finally know it's in-game stats. I'm also pleased to see the Grant Coat FRC back in the game. Uh, to me, this was an invaluable piece of kit in Farming Simulator 17 when I was doing slurry spreading. And I've no doubt that I'll be using it in Farming Simulator 19 as well. Finally, I love how this screenshot of the Samson Agro slurry tank is using a boom arm to fill the, from the field container. It's a great touch that adds another bit of realism to the game. And it's the little things like this that make me more and more excited for the game every time I see it. So there we have it, the first two fact sheets for Farming Simulator 19, revealing the details of eight pieces of equipment that will be available in the game. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. But for now, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.